What is sitting in all these containers behind us? Everything. Longshoremen telling me some of these containers have been sitting here for six months with a shortage of truck drivers to get the goods on the highway and into stores. It's not just making things harder to find, it's making them more expensive. Today we face an economy that's in transition. And as part of that transition, we are seeing high prices for some of the things that people have to buy. But the reality is that the only way we're going to get to a place where we work through this transition is if everyone in America and everyone around the world gets vaccinated. That's why the president continues to be focused on the idea that we get everyone who can vaccinated in this country. So what are they saying there on how long this backlog could go on for? And, and what are retailers doing to help get these supplies moving? Yeah, so there's no quick fix, right? And optimists are saying six months it might take to work through a lot of these challenges. But one of those longshoremen who I talked to today said he thinks they are going to be working through this crisis well into holiday season of next year. See all these trucks? All those trucks? All those trucks? See all those trailers right there? Well, see those big green things behind all those trucks? I am in Tacoma, Washington. I have watched those cranes all day and not a single one of them has moved. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine major cranes at this massive port. Not a single one of them has moved today. All these trucks right here, right there, all these trucks out here, all of them are waiting for a load. They were sitting here doing nothing because the ports aren't working. So don't think that it's because of a driver shortage. It's not. These guys need work. The freight's sitting right there cranes aren't operating. So that's the truth.